Hello YouTube, this is Bad Wolf Mom. I am actually at the stables right now while, Jesse, while Jonah rides and Jesse is over there playing video games. Hi Jesse. Hi. We are doing a quick video on water filters because I keep meaning to do this and never get around to it. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, killing time while Jonah rides. All right, so we have had an evolution of water filters through the years of backpacking and um, we have a new system that I'm trying this year that I think is gonna work out way better. But we'll start with what we started with, which was originally the Sawyer, um, well actually we started with the Sawyer Mini and very quickly disliked it. Um, switched to the Sawyer Squeeze, which was okay. Um, it just took a lot of time when you're trying to filter water for two kids, a dog and yourself. Um, so basically Sawyer, has these dirty bags that they come with. You fill the water up into these. This is your dirty bag. Cap comes off, obviously. This twists onto the top of the bag. You unstopper that bottom part and you squeeze the water through. Pros and cons, it's lightweight. It doesn't take up much space. Um, con, this thing clogs a lot. <laughs> and you use most of your water that you just filtered to back flush and unclog it, which is why we ditched the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, a lot of places that we went to, especially in West Virginia, when we were filtering boot water was horrible and we got very little useful water out of it. Um, you can use this as an inline filter too. If you take this little cap thingy off and put it in an inline as well. Um, so it makes a good backup. Typically, this will be in one of the boys' packs, and we'll use it if we absolutely need to. What we have used the past couple of years has been the Platypus Gravity System, which I modified heavily. Um, this is not the usual dirty bag that I would use. I have a heavier one that has a slider on it that won't come open. Um, it's the one drawback about this. This doesn't always seal up very well, and the top of the bag will leak. Um, which is why I switched out the dirty bag, but I left that behind. So we're going to show this one. Um, this is the two liter system. I cut down the tubing a lot because the tubing that it comes with is probably enough to wrap around your waist about 12 times. Um, not necessary, adds more weight and quite honestly, waste a lot of time. So we cut the tubing down. The other thing that I did to modify the system was added in a charcoal filter in between the regular filter and the end. And that gets rid of a lot of the iron heavy metal taste that you may find in water and particularly like the Laurel Highlands Trail. We run into this a lot because the, a lot of Grindle water, it's very heavy in iron and other minerals. But what's nice about this is we fill it up and you hang it up on top of a tree. You have a clamp down there, attach the bottle to the end, unclamp it, filter. You can walk away for a while. You're not squeezing a bag. Um, other plus is that we have a dirty bag here that you can then carry extra water in and filter it when you get to camp. So I really like this system, but with the tubing and the fact that you have a very specific clamp on the end here that kind of cuts out your versatility. Um, we are gonna keep this one around, probably put it in one of the boys' packs as a backup, because I do like the system, but what we're gonna use this year is something new. What I like, here we go. These are the sliders, kind of like the um, platypus bag that I swapped this dirty bag out for. It was actually the three liter um, water platypus bag that you would put in a backpack, but we just took the end off and we use it to filter. This has a slider on the end as well. Nice wide opening. It stays sealed. These bags pretty much look indestructible and I got these off of Inline Equipment, but you can pretty much get them anywhere, including Amazon. Um, the Cnog bags, the orange and tiling is dirty and I put a string on here so we could tie it or hang it. It works as a gravity system. And if you look, we got the filter in the middle, no tubes. It attaches to a clean bag. 
you could also screw the end of this into a bottle and you don't need to filter it into a bag, which is also very nice. Um, this little filter called the Hydro Blue is comparable to what you would find with Sorrel, or sorry, Sawyer, or the Platypus system, same rating. Um, as with most of these filters, they take care of most bacteria and gunk, but will not filter against viruses. But a lot of the places we go, we don't have to worry about that. So um, if I was really concerned, I would just boil the water or use a chemical tab, but honestly, we've never had to worry about it. So we stick with these filters. The VersaFlow, which is nice. Um, I'll show you this other one. This one I actually won um, from a raffle. This was the Hydra Blue. Uh, they're, version of the mini, I guess it would be, but you can screw this right on top of a bottle and just drink right out of it. Or you could also screw it into this bag and use it as a squeeze. So this is also a nice little backup that we keep around, weighs nothing. Um, this system, if I ditch this clean bag down here and just use this right directly into a bottle, is actually less than what my platypus system weighs. So we're going to try this and see how it works out this year. Um, as you can see, we're in full winter gear. My hands are already cold because it's freezing up here right now, which is why we're not out backpacking. But we will report later on how well this works and whether or not we have a back flush issue. I'm going to guess it probably works similar to the platypus in which if we need to back flush it, I'm just taking my clean bottle, turning it upside down, back flushing it back into the dirty bag, and then dropping it back down. What I liked about the back flush technique with this, and I'm assuming is gonna work a lot like this, is you don't lose any of your water in the back flush because it just goes right back up into the dirty bag and you can refilter it, clog gone. Um, same deal, I'm guessing you just tip this over, back flush it, drop it back down and it would not clog. Um, I think that's about all we're gonna cover for now. Any questions on any particular systems that I've shown you? The Hydro Blue C-Nog bag combo. The Hydro Blue little mini. The Platypus Gravity, which again, I love the system, but we're gonna give this a try with no tubing. And the Sawyer, which is a lovely backup, but I would not really rely, especially on a mini, if you're in some tough spots and really, really need some heavy duty filtering because they clog. All right, guys, enjoy, bye.